Good afternoon, boys and girls. My name is Mrs. Wells, and I'm so happy to be here today for your phonics lesson. Before I begin, I would like to say hello to the students, teachers, faculty, staff, administration at Chestang Fournier KA Elementary. I miss you guys. I cannot wait till we're back together again safely. All right, so let's get into some phonics. The materials that you'll need um, are paper, pencil, crayon, marker, anything that you want to write with. If you don't have any of that, that's okay too. Just come on along for the fun. <laughs> so the sound we're going to work on today is the long U sound. Now we're going to use a different spelling, the U blank E spelling as in the word mule. Can you guys say the word mule for me? Let's say it, mule. Fantastic. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to say some words. I want you guys to listen to the words that I say. If you hear the long U sound, as in mule, I want you to give me a thumbs up. Everybody at home, give me a thumbs up. Awesome. And if I say a word and you do not hear that long U sound, I want you to just give me a thumbs down. That's easy. Okay, so the first word, I'll try the first word myself. The first word is muse. Thumbs up. I'm going to give muse a thumbs up because I can hear the long U in muse. Awesome. Okay, so let's do some more words. Let's do the next one together. June. Good job. We all got it right. In the word June, you hear the long U sound. Awesome. Next word. Cut. Very good. Thumbs down. Cut does not have the long U sound. Next, wo next word. Fluke. You guys are rocking and rolling. Yes. Fluke gets a thumbs up because you can hear the long U sound. Last word before we move on, nuke. Thumbs up, yes. Nuke gets that long U sound as well. You guys are rocking and rolling. I know the next activity, blending, is going to be amazing. So before we blend, let's talk about, we talked about what it sounds like. Now let's talk about what it looks like when we write it. So we're familiar with the long U spelled U, but today we're going to focus on the U blank E spelling. And that says U. U blank E says U. Say it with me, guys. U blank E says you. One more time. U blank E says you. Fantastic. Let's air write the long U, U blank E spelling. Fingers up, point your fingers up. Let's air write it. U blank E says you. Say it with me. U blank E says you. One more time. U blank E says you. You guys are amazing today. Okay, so we know what it looks like. Let's try to blend some sounds and make some words with our new spelling. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to write some words, some letters. We're going to say the sounds, blend them together, and make new words. I'll go first. We ready? Let's go. The first word I'll try sound U blank E says U two I'm gonna fill in the blank. Hmm, I'm going to blend it. Tune. And our new word is tune. Wasn't that fun? Let's do another. Sound, k, sound, you uh, blank E says you, crew, we're going to add the missing sound, d, 
we're going to blend it crude. And our new word is crude. You guys, this is just rocking and rolling. Awesome. Okay, one more. Let's do this one together. Ready? Sound. Sound. Found you blended prue. Fill in the missing sound. D blend the word prude. What's our new word? Prude. Awesome. Now we're going to do one more. You guys are going to do this one by yourself and then we'll check. Okay. Found. Found. Blend it, fill in the missing sound, blend it, and what's our new word? Juke. Awesome. Did you guys get the word juke? Okay, you guys did a fantastic job on blending. Let's go over those words that we wrote. Tune, crude, prude, juke. Awesome. Okay, now we've been able to blend and make new words. I think it's time for us to write some words. How about you guys? <laughs> yes, I think it's time for us to write some words. Okay, before we write the words, I'm going to say the word. You guys are going to repeat the word after me. We're going to air spell it. We're gonna air spell it in the air, finger spell it, okay? Fun? Let's try it. I'll model the first word. So the first word is use, use, U-S-E, use. I'm going to write it. Notice I underline my long U spelling, my U blank E in the word use. Let's do another one. The next word is mute, mute, M-U-T-E, mute. Let's write it. The word is mute. I underlined my long vowel spelling, mute. Awesome. Okay, we're going to do one more, and I want you guys to do this one by yourself. Are you ready? The word is fume. Fume. F-U-M-E. Fume. Let's write it. No, you guys write it. It's your turn. <laughs> Okay, let's check it. F-U-M-E, fume. Does yours look like mine? Fantastic. Now, we're going to read our new words before we move on. Let's read them together. Let's point to the first word. Let's go, boys and girls. Use, mute, fume. Very good. You guys, I'm telling you, you're just rocking and rolling through this phonics lesson. Okay, so we've written words. Now it's time to write sentences. Now we're only going to write one sentence today, but this is how we're going to write that sentence. I'm going to say the sentence, then you guys are going to say it with me, and then we're going to pound out the words in that sentence, and then you guys are going to write it. Do you think you're ready for that? I think you're ready for it. You guys are going to do great. Okay, I'm going to say the sentence. Are you ready? Luke rode a brown mule. I'm going to say it again. Luke rode a brown mule. Let's pound the words in that sentence and say it together. Luke rode a brown mule mule. Now I said we were going to write it, but if you look out on the board, there are five spaces there. When we pound it, we pounded out five words. Let's read it again. Luke rode a brown 
meal. Now you can always use those spaces just to make sure when you're writing out your sentences, you have enough words. So Mrs. Wells is going to stop talking and we're gonna pound the sentence one more time and then you guys can write it. Okay, are we ready? Let's go. Luke rode a brown mule, right? Also remember why you guys are writing what a sentence looks like, what does that first letter, what kind of letter does that first letter begin with? Capital letter, absolutely, so you want to make sure the first word begins with a capital letter and the end begins in the correct punctuation. I know you guys are writing fantastic sentences. <laughs> okay, one more second and then we're going to check. All right, let's look and see what we have. Here's our sentence, let's read it together. Luke rode a brown mule. Does yours look like mine? If it does not, okay, I'll get, that's okay, I'll give you a second to make your correction. You guys are doing great today. Awesome. Now, we've done so much with this U blank E spelling, this long U. Now we get to get into the fun stuff. This is, I think, my favorite part of the lesson because we take everything we learn and then we use it in the story. We love stories, right? Give me a clap if you love stories. I know I do. Okay, so the story that we're going to read today is Muse the Mule. Muse the mule. I love how that sounds. Okay, so I'm going to read the story first. You guys are going to listen. I want you to listen to the story, and I also want you to be looking at the words that have our new spelling, the long U, U blank E spelling. I'll read first, and you guys listen. Are we ready? Awesome. Muse is a cute mule. Muse lives in the forest close to the Maze River. Muse likes the forest and the Maze River, but Muse likes music the most. He, Luke is a trader. He cuts branches and trades them at the river. After Luke cuts big branches, he puts them on Muse's back. Muse does not like branches on his back. Muse stands still and does not budge. At last, Luke plays music for Muse. Luke plays nice music. Muse does not like branches on his back, but he does like Luke's music. I, I don't know about you, but I kind of feel like Muse. I don't want branches on my back, but I love music. <laughs> Okay, so this is what we're going to do with the story. We're going to chunk this text and break it up so we can find what we're looking for. We're going to take one paragraph at, the, at a time, we're going to read it, and then we're going to go back in each paragraph and find those long U words like mule and muse, and we're going to see how many we have each paragraph. Let's start. I'll do the first paragraph. I'll read it, and then I'm going to go back in the paragraph and find my words with my new long U spelling, okay? Listen as I read, and I want you to help me while I'm reading and look for those new words. Muse is a cute mule. Muse lives in the forest close to the Maze River. Muse likes the forest and the Maze River. Muse liked music the most. Okay, now I'm going to go back in my paragraph and see how many words I can find with our long U, U blank E spelling. Let's see. Um, let me look at the first sentence. I see muse. Oh, I see an oops, I see a lot in that sentence. I see muse, I see cute, and I see mule. Okay, I have three. Okay, the next sentence, I see muse. Mm, I see maze, but no, that's a nut, that's long A. That's a different spelling. Okay, so not that one. Okay, let's look at the next sentence. I see muse, 
Muse is the only one there. And then I'm going to look in the last sentence. I see Muse. And then I see another one. I see music. Music. But I'm not going to circle music because although it does have the long U, it's not our new U blank E spelling that we learned today. So I won't circle that one. So let's check. All right, I think I found them all. Okay, so the next paragraph, paragraph two, we're going to do that one together. We're gonna to read it together and then we're gonna find all the words with our long U, U blank E spelling. Let's go. Luke is a trader. He cuts branches and trades them at the river. After Luke cuts big branches, he puts them on Muse's back. Muse does not like branches on his back. Muse stands still and does not budge. Okay, look for those words. Uh, I see some people, I, I hear Luke. What else do I hear? Come on, tell me what else do you see? I, I hear Muse. Uh, absolutely. Let's check our work. Very good. Luke and Muse. Okay, let's do the third paragraph. Now, this paragraph is all yours, but I'm not worried. I know you guys have it. You read the paragraph, and then you go back and find all those words with the long U, like in mule. Ready? Read. Okay, let's find those words. <laughs> you guys are so smart. Okay, let's check our work. Awesome, you guys really rocked that out. I love it, very good. Oh my gosh, you guys have done so much today. That's the end of our phonics portion. Before I read a book, oh my goodness, you got, look what you've done today. You've heard the long U sound. You've been able to see what it looks like and identify it. You've been able to blend words. You've been able to write words and you've been able to write sentences and you've used all that to read a paragraph. Give yourselves a hand. Oh my goodness, I've had so much fun. Before I end though, I'm gonna talk about some things parents if you want to work more with your child on the U blank E, the long U, or any of the vowel sounds, Google is your best friend. There are tons of resources, there are games, there are fill in the blank activities. Anything you need to further their knowledge during their distance learning time, go to Google and you'll find everything you need for free. Kids, I want to challenge you guys to do something for me. Now, I know I never back down from a challenge, and I know you guys are the same way. I want you to find five words with our new long U spelling. Just five words anywhere where you're reading your books, you're doing your homework. However, wherever, find those five, five words, write them, make a sentence using those words for me, and I, would, I think that would be amazing. Could you do that for me? I know you can. Okay, so the last bit of time, I'm going to read one of my favorite books. It's called Rude Cakes. We'll go through that book and then we'll be done with phonics for today. Rude Cakes. And I'm sorry, this book is by um, Rowboat Watkins. All right, Rude Cakes. Rude Cakes never say please. And they never say thank you. And they sometimes take things that don't belong to them. Rude cakes never listen, especially when their parents say something boring. And they never wait their turn. This cake says, back off, I'm going again. Rude cakes never share and they never say sorry because they're never ever wrong. They also think baths are not cool and bedtime is for donut holes. Oddly enough, giant cyclopses 
love to wear jainty little hats. Giant Cyclopses always say thank you. And they always say please and they always share. Giant Cyclopses also love to wait in line. And some of the Cyclopses say, it's the cutest hat ever. OMG, can I borrow that? It's the best. I love your dancing hat. I'm not a hat. Please. Giant Cyclopses always listen when they hear please nicely, even if whatever they hear is something boring. And they always apologize when they're wrong. Sorry. Of course, no cake is ever too rude to change. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me. I will see you the same time next Tuesday. Have a great day.